All right, well, the other day I found the score of the century, picked up a new bow sight, the Fast Eddie XL triple stack. So I figured, why not put the ballistics calculator to the test? Installed the sight on my bow, sighted the entire bow in, including the sight tape at 15 yards at an indoor range. Using the ballistics calculator, I figured out how high I should be hitting at 15 yards set the sight to that, slapped on a sight tape, and then I went and shot an outdoor range and a 3D course. Let's see if it worked. All right, we're out here at the uh, local archery shop today. We're gonna put the ballistics calculator to the test. We're gonna, they got a 15 yard inside range here, and we're gonna see if we can't sight in the bow completely at 15 yards. We're gonna find sight tape. How we're gonna do that is we're gonna figure out where our arrow should hit. If we're shooting for 60, but only at 15 yards. So I'll show that on the calculator and that's how high we're gonna be looking to hit. First, I'm gonna just take a couple rounds here, make sure I'm hitting on, uh, got a new release, so I wanna make sure left and right's good and we'll go from there. So we took a couple shots there. Feel pretty good on the, holding a tight group with the new release. So now we're gonna do, so we're gonna roll that spot hog sight down on the dial here and try to find our 60 yard sight tape. see where we're hitting. I'll uh, show where we're supposed to be hitting there on the uh, ballistics calculator and see how high we are. We shot down, measured our group, see how high we were. Should have been about 17 and a quarter high. Found our sight tape. Looks like we need to do number 16 and we're gonna see if that uh, matches out at 60 yards and at the range. We'll cut in here and we'll be back. We're gonna be out shooting longer distances to verify that sight tape. We drove over to SVA today. My local range doesn't have a, a large flat range. This is the uh, best flat range in the area. So we're gonna shoot. Yesterday we uh, used the ballistics calculator to find our sight tape. Today we're gonna verify. We're gonna see if it's any good. Snowing pretty good. It should be a good day. Let's do it. It's time to check the sight tape. We're gonna roll the 20 yard pin all the way to 50 yards and see how close we are. Exactly. By the way, I'm aiming uh, top, middle dot to the right. That was good. That felt good. <laughs> the second one's a little bit like just on the outside of the left side of that bubble, but that middle one's just like top third of that bubble. Yeah. Now bear shaft. About five inches high. It should be, yeah, it'll, it'll be higher. Doesn't have near the drag. drag behind yeah. <laughs> But vertically but or vertic left? Set, like left and right, you're right with them. It's just high. Yeah, yeah. just high. Nice. Well, good. good shot. Good shot. Uh, we got to do the honest man's game, right? No yeah, cuts. You got to do. All right. Let's see how close we are. I'm shooting five yards and get pulls us every time. And then <laughs> show that I'm shooting distance. I've already showed my terrible yard, my terrible grouping at 60 yards. Well, I, I'm getting over like bad target panic right now. So that's why I start at 10 and I do warm ups <coughs> every damn time I shoot. It's, oh, I'm happy with that. Yeah, those three flash, those are. Yeah, and the bear shafts, of course, are going to be high. Yeah. What well, I'm looking I mean, for bear shaft cool. is are they plumbing to the target? I'm come right into your face here. One's a little cockeyed, but not bad. All right, so. Yes. Shaky, shaky, shaky. All right, so the point of aim was here. That went a little off, but those two were great. I think that was the first shot. Yeah. Those are also different fletch, so that might have something to play in there. Bear shaft, plumbing to the target, so we're still tuned. 50 yards, rolled from 20 to 50, finding a sight tape using a ballistics calculator. Let's roll out to, uh, I don't know what we do next, 70? Go 70. Oh. A little high? A little high. Keep in mind, I ain't that great of a shot. No, I'm not. 
<laughs> no, not either. That's why my video won't be shooting. <laughs> you even for that brown? Yeah, brown yeah. in the middle. That was good. Yeah, that one felt better. That looks pretty solid. All right? Hi. All right, it's calm. Let's throw a air shaft. Air shaft in there. I don't know where that hit. I it's impossible see it. to You're see about, the air shaft. Without the fletching, I couldn't see it. <laughs> You're about two inches Sorry. above the top right. So that was the group here. I think the sight tape's on. If anything, it's my shooting needs to improve. Waiting. <laughs> Little range day out here, just having fun. Come on, autofocus, there we go. That one? <laughs> yeah, that one. Why is everything red? Oh, it's just telling you it's uh, it's in manual focus right now. It's telling you where it's focused at. Uh, I mean, I shot a bear, we just never found it. Nice. Low. That felt good. Look good. That's a moose down there. Foam. Hey everyone, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. So it turned out really well. I was able to side in my bow completely, finding a sight tape and everything that was good for me out to 90 yards. Granted, my grouping isn't that great, so maybe I'll refine it later on. But still, the ability to find a sight tape that's really close right out the gate. So that was my goal with this is let's see if I can find the sight tape from there and then without adjusting anything on my site, go and shoot it. I want to give a shout out to my uh, local archery shop here too. They were gracious enough to let me film inside their shop and do you know everything I kind of needed to do there. So North Idaho Archery, I appreciate, appreciate that. I wanted to touch on some stuff that I've got that I'm working on coming up. One is uh, broadhead testing. Building a little apparatus here to test broadheads. I'm also still working on the wind tunnel. Got that here. I uh, got a nice 200 cubic foot per second fan, per minute fan here. And I'm just working on suspension apparatus for the arrows to get those to where they'll be free floating in the tunnel so that we can test and look at their spin rate. Just a couple projects coming up in the pipeline, guys. Uh, I'm gonna let John do the closing here. Uh, John from North Idaho Archery. All right, later. Can I do the thing? Absolutely. Hey, hit the hit the button, the subscribe, <laughs> click the like, and then the bell. I think you did I it. Think right. Those are the ones. <laughs> I think you're supposed to say like and subscribe. Oh, like and subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.